this is a dot matrix printer. It has a bunch of buttons on the top, as well as lots of indicator LEDs. It has some strange connections on the back, which I will make a separate video on. And also, there are some cooling vents on the side, as well as this weird knob and some slider things on here. And also, there is a power switch on this side. And if you remove this cover, we have access to some of the internal mechanism. Like this moves a little thing, and this moves these rollers. Watch. Watch. I don't know. My camera doesn't focus easily sometimes, but now you can see those rollers move a little. And this head has a ribbon cable and is moved by a motor, I think. Now, I don't know what this heat sink is for. Also, there's a blue lever that has three positions. So now let's take this apart. There are two screws that, that should let us into the printer. So now let's remove this and then let's remove what? Oh the knob also holds this case together. So let's remove that. Okay, that was a little funny, but now I just have to figure out Okay, so now the top has been removed. So we have access to these levers. And also, this is the front control board. So let's zoom in on the front control board. So there are a couple chips on here. The connector, lots of buttons some capacitors and resistors, lots of LEDs, and, and in the back electronic section, there are some large capacitors here, a big transformer, some board there, and this is one of the weird connectors I was talking about. Just oh, adjust the camera a little so that we can see that back section easier. So there is a fuse back here, and I will remove the camera from the tripod stand. So, this is what that circuit board looks like. There are some little switches there. So this is what those little switches look like. And this is like a top view of of the back circuit board. And, and I found a motor that I think will move the paper. This motor right here. It's connected to the roller via some gears.
And if I attach the knob back on to the printer mechanism, those gears turn, as you can see. I can't find a motor that makes this head, this little, got stuck, this little print head unit move. It's probably inside this black plastic piece. So that, I think, is pretty much it. But let's take a look at that little side circuit. So this is what the side circuit looks like. And also, there is this strange chip here with some heat sink on it. It's just a little built-in metal plate that could act like a heat sink. Here is a close-up of the fuse. So this is basically all that is inside of a dot matrix printer. I might make more videos like with close-ups of each of the circuits later.